What's up everybody, it's Real Cool Adventures. Today we're catching giant manis shrimp. They're all over along here inside the inlet, everywhere up and down the coast. The weather's just right. I'm gonna jump in, we're gonna show you how we're gonna catch them. First I got some bait, some small hooks, I've got spears, got whatever it takes to get them out of the hole. It's going down right now. So what we're looking for is little golf ball size holes in the sand and then you brush them off and underneath there are the manna shrimp. Once we locate them and find them, we'll get back to the boat, grab some bait and there's two or three different ways to catch them and we're going to get into it and show you what we're going to do. Shake me. up right on top of them it looks like like a giant orange size hole right here it's got white sand around it it's kind of domed on top we're gonna go ahead and get some water cameras and get get everything ready and we'll see you in a minute I'm going for the go We put it down there and you saw how aggressive it is. I just hooked myself in the butt. <laughs> that little joker right there is faster than a 22 caliber bullet. Good job, Lauren, that was perfect. You. What I'm gonna do, grab this little scrimp, slam that, and broke that. It's not actually a shrimp. What are they called, Lauren? What? Uh, How do you pronounce it? Uh, I don't know. So these shrimp really are not shrimp. They're actually the crustacean family and they have little gills. I'm no biologist. I just know what I like to eat. I had a ketchup. It's really fun. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this and it's really important when you're cleaning these, they actually have an intestinal line that comes right back here almost identical to a lobster. If we had some lobster, you can actually take the lobster's antenna and break it off and stick it up in here and use it as kind of a, a spear to get that intestine out, but we don't have any lobster with us. So. It's the matapoda. It's the matapoda. It's the matapoda. So I'm just gonna come in like this. A little snip. Snip, snip. I'm gonna actually just cut this guy right in half. He's not huge. And if you like this and wanna see us catch more of these, um, as soon as the water cleans up, we will go catch a whole bunch of big monster ones and show you all the tricks and how to do it. I don't cut my finger off. A little stomotopoto. That's 
it. Sorry, buddy. Safe ahead for me. Now, another thing, if you catch these, I mean, this is a fairly decent size one, but if we were to like go target them one day where we have a bunch of people, the really big ones, they have these arms like this. And if you catch them and they're really big, this is almost equivalent to like a crab leg. I mean, the meat in it's crazy, really good. Maybe we'll do a video on that. And you can actually take Man, the, the scissors. Legs. Yeah, and cook them just like crab legs, but you need a whole mess of them to do that. So you just cut it like that. And then see that intestinal line right there? That nasty booger looking thing? Just gonna take that out. That's pretty much, that's all there is to cleaning them. Um, they, they all, I don't know if you've ever eaten a shovel nose lobster. It's almost, to me, the meat tastes identical to a shovel nose lobster. So, you can do that, rinse that off. And we'll show you the rest of the steps, but we're not gonna bore you with it. Then we'll get off to the next thing. What we've got going on outside is we have potatoes, we have corn, and Old Bay, and it's just literally boiling in a pot. And then we, we've got all the stuff that's really soft, that cooks really fast. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, the sausage, the shrimp that we caught at Publix, and the manor shrimp that Lauren speared, like you saw in the video, and we're gonna cook that last. We're gonna cook everything out of the pot, we're gonna wrap it up in tin foil, and then we're gonna put this in, and then slowly cook it on the uh, barbecue grill. You can also do it on an open fire, and then uh, we'll see you shortly. Look at that. Woo-wee! Look at that. Now those are nice and soft, and they'll catch up to the rest of the meal. Let's go. I'm starving, trying not to burn your feet. Well, stick that there, we'll get the stuff, mix it all together, then we'll throw it back on the grill and cook it. We're starving, let's go eat. All right, so real quick and easy, we had this stuff boil in the Old Bay. These are nice and soft. Now we're just gonna stick several of these in there, kind of proportion it out. I'm gonna grab a couple of shrimp, use my hands, whatever. I'm gonna stick these in here like so. Grab a little bit of sausage. Throw that on there. And then I'm gonna grab a little garlic, sprinkle that in there. And I'm gonna take a couple slices of butter and just drop that on there like so. And you're gonna just keep repeating the process. Then I'm gonna take this mana shrimp like that. I'm just gonna stick that in there like so. All right, last but not least, then we'll just take a little bit of lemon and just get all that flavor in there. Awesome. Drop that thing in there. So then we're just gonna repeat the process. You get the basic idea. Put this in here like so. This thick stuff's already cooked. Just gonna wrap it up. A little slivers of butter. Twist the ends. Now we're gonna throw it on for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna check periodically. We're just gonna open it up a little bit and make sure the shrimp is pink. When it starts turning pink and dark pink, that means it's cooked all the way through. We got the heat over here. We're gonna put it off to the side so it doesn't burn it into there. Repeat the process. Stick these little tin foil burrito taco things in there. Yes. So, see you in a minute. All righty, there we have it. I don't want to drip. I poked some holes in this, and I was trying to take it off the uh, off the burner. Well, watch your glass right there. Let me throw this down here. And this might drip a little bit. I see here. the mantis shrimp. Wow, Let's that smells delicious. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Cam, check hey, this out. What are you doing? That might be, is that Kelly's? Oh, that's kind of gross looking. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Hey, Kelly, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me save the head for you. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. The head? That's, that's that it? Just the head? <laughs> like crab shrimp, legs. Kelly? I don't even think I can. What? Look at that. Now that they're nice and pink, we know they're cooked all the way through. Steam's coming out. And these things smell and look delicious. So let's go ahead and get to it. Cam, behind the cam. Now this is the first time Lauren and I have personally cooked it this way. This is Cam's idea and we'll see how we like it. Lauren and I do it on the grill and stuff. We're gonna do some videos on that coming up real soon. You just so, put some um, Old Bay on it. Mm-hmm. What else? What do you think? Old Bay butter, lemon, all the good stuff. Now, if we weren't yeah. watching, you could actually take it and kind of like 
That's nibble on it. She's got it to come out. There's sausage in here. It's a little mushy, but it has a good flavor. A mushy? Like it's not as like rough as like a lobster tail, but it's still good. Like it has like a Swedish flavor. Swedish flavor? What? Swedish. 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 Not Swedish, like a sweet I Have a flavor. Swedish uh, bank account? Not Swedish. <laughs> People think I'm Swedish. Swedish babysitter? The meat in this is so <laughs> incredibly... <laughs> to me, it's like... It's not like shrimp. It's not like a Swedish au pair. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like... Like a shovel nose lobster. It's good. That's really good. I wish we had, we should have caught more. We're gonna go back and do this again tomorrow. Guess who caught this one? Yours truly. So good. Well, we had a great time. Hope you learned something. If you wanna see more of these videos and us go back out and catch more mana shrimp, leave us in the description below what you want us to do. Or if you wanna see different yeah. ways to do it, maybe have Mackenzie do it. Mackenzie, hey. you wanna catch a mana shrimp? A mantis shrimp? Hey. We'll go back and do it. But uh, as for now, that's all we've got. We'll see you on the next adventure. Stay cool.